Shields up, Ironbreakers. Welcome back to Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. I've been playing this game pretty much nonstop whenever I have any free time at all, and sometimes even when I don't have free time. And usually when I'm not playing the game, I'm thinking about the game and what I'm going to do next time that I jump into the game. The game has been extremely addicting and I've been having a ton of fun with it. Now recently I put up a video on the channel which was called My Thoughts on Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. That video was made after I finished the main story, jumped into the multiplayer endgame and ran quite a few hours of endgame. By the time that I recorded that video I believe that I was on the tail end of the extreme difficulty. And, uh, you know, I put up the video and my thoughts was like, look, I think the visuals are amazing, the combat is amazing, the OST is amazing. Like, I've given this game a lot of praise. However, I did have one piece of feedback, one piece of critique, and a lot of people were upset by that. Now, that piece of critique was that I thought that the game is a little bit on the easy side. And I still agree with what I said in the video. It most definitely is a little bit on the easy side. And I'm going to be elaborating a little bit more on that. But before we jump into that particular discussion, I want people to understand something, okay? This channel, the core audience of this channel, is usually consistent of people that play from software games. We're talking like Dark Souls, Sekiro, Bloodborne, all of that stuff. And people that play Monster, game, monster Hunter games. This is the core audience of my channel. These are the games that have grown my channel the most. And this is usually who my videos are directed to. Now, I understand that when it comes to Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, I've had a lot of new people jump into the channel, which is a cool thing. Thank you for checking out my content. I appreciate you. But apparently, a lot of you guys got really upset when I said that I felt that the game was too easy. And I want you to understand, when I say this, I'm not trying to belittle your gaming abilities and I'm not trying to flex my own gaming abilities. Anybody who's been to my live streams, I've always said, I am not the greatest gamer by any stretch. I do not consider myself to be. Usually, what I even tell people is like, listen, if I can do this, anybody can do this, whenever it comes to difficulty in a video game, all right? I just want people to understand that because... I feel like a lot of people got really offended when I said that, when in reality, in the context of who my core audience is, I believe that about 90% of them will find the game to be a lot easier than what they would like. And as someone who offers critique for video games and tries to inform people about what to expect from video games, that is my job. I have to tell people what they can expect from the game. So let's jump into this and let's see if I can avoid offending you guys this time because fundamentally that is not my objective. So if we go into the quest counter here, and by the way at this point for anybody wondering how many hours we have into the game, which I should have said earlier, we have 73 hours, 25 minutes. So this is considerably much, much further into the progression. But if we jump into the game here and we go to the quest counter, you guys can see that we have the difficulty here. Now look, when it comes to easy and normal, these quests, I think even the people that were mad at me can agree that these quests were very easy. These quests were not particularly challenging. You can almost AFK these quests and your three NPCs in your party will take care of business and destroy everything. That's at least how I feel about it. When it comes to veteran Skyfarer, I feel like hard and very hard are also extremely easy. And once it gets to extreme, you're probably going to need to do a little bit of grinding on your party in order to be able to clear it. But I also don't find them to be that challenging. Now, it is to be understandable that I did play uh, through the end game with a group of friends. We didn't always have a full party. At some points, I played me, one other person, and two NPCs. Other times, it was me, two other people, one NPC. And other times, there was actually four of us. And I understand that this allows me to progress through the game faster because I don't have to level up all of my party. As a matter of fact, that's one of the things that I've been doing over the last couple of days. If you actually look here, you can see... Here's my party, and you can see that Percival is sitting at 18,000 power, uh, Jita is sitting at 16,000, Charlotte at 9,000, and Eugen at 18,000. Now, I mostly played Eugen once I got into the multiplayer, but before I got into the endgame, I was mostly swapping characters all the time and testing out as many different characters as I could just to provide you guys with different flavors in the live stream. But once I got into the endgame, I was expected to focus on one character, and I chose to do Eugen. Now, a lot of people believe that the reason why the game felt so easy to me was because I was playing Eugen. However... All of the people that I was playing with all agreed with me. They're also, all of them are playing Melee, and they all said, yeah, the game feels relatively easy. 
right up until we got to our first couple of walls, which is one of the things that I want to talk about because I also feel that there were a lot of people that once you guys saw that video and I told you guys this is a little bit on the easy side, a lot of you were just like, oh, then it's not for me. I'm not going to play the game. This is, this is not worth my time. And I would disagree with that because even though the quests feel a little bit on the easy side, the progression system that you experience in the game is very satisfying. You do get that min-maxing juice that, you know, I know that a lot of people in my community enjoy of uh, putting your, your, your character together and putting your secondary characters together and all that stuff and testing it out. And there is a lot of like build theory crafting and a ton of progression in the game that is very satisfying. And there are a couple of fights, once you reach the maximum difficulty of the game, there are a couple of fights that are indeed challenging and very satisfying to overcome. But this doesn't really change anything that I said in my video, which is the point that I wanted to make. Because what I said in my video is like, look, the, the difficulty is very much backloaded if it even is there. Because at the time that I recorded the video, I just didn't feel like there was any significant challenge. So, and again, please don't get offended when I say that, because I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just trying to inform. So, uh, the extreme quests we cleared, no problems, no issues, destroyed all of them. I mean, I haven't done literally all of the key quests because, I mean, literally all of the extreme quests because we just did the key quests. We were trying to see, okay, when are we going to get to our first wall? Because usually that's what you do when you are playing these games, right? It's, if I don't need to stop the grind because my build feels powerful enough, you keep pushing until you find the reason to grind. And therein lied our problem, me and my friends. And, and the problem was we went through this, no issues, through this, no issues. We go through this, we go through Maniac, boom, no issues as well. Pretty much all of these were like first tries. And I know not all of them are S+, and there were some that we didn't do because we didn't need to. They were not really key. Wait, this is proud. Um... Maniac. So we went through these and all of the key quests. All of this was pretty much first try. We didn't really have to grind a whole lot in here. Now there was some stuff that we stopped to grind simply because when we got the proud, we finally found our first wall, which was this. Bahamut Versa. This was our first wall and it was actually significantly challenging. At this point, we were required to do a little bit of grinding to optimize not even do a little bit of grinding but just optimize our characters a little bit because up until this point everything on damage every single sigil was damage damage cap you know critical strike all that's a boom 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 just like all damage and then we got here it's like whoa <laughs> this dude hits hard <laughs> so then we put like one or two defensive sigils but the thing was the moment we defeated this which i think was like our third attempt give or take the moment we defeated this, everything else that came after was immediately destroyed. Like, let me show you guys an example here. We're going to go through and we're going to tackle the Vrazarek Fireworm. Now, this is going to be a quest that a lot of you guys are going to be doing. And by the way, if you are playing the game, I would recommend you to repeat this quest a lot. Because this is one of the easier dragons. Not that the other ones are much harder, because we also have S++ on the other ones. But this one's like one of the easiest ones, and the rewards that you get in this quest are actually very good. Now, keep in mind... This quest is in maximum, it's on the hardest difficulty right now. But the monster is still, as you will see, not the hardest thing that you will ever fight. But it is important so that I can establish uh, a bit of um, a bit of a basis for you guys to see what a hard encounter actually looks like. So we're going to go in here, I'm going to go buff myself, and we're just going to go murder this dude with Percy. See, this is another thing. A lot of people were saying the only reason it's easy is because you're playing Oigan. I was like, okay, well, I'll come play Percy. And let's see how that is. Because Percy is also a character that I really enjoyed from the moment I saw him. So I figured, hey, you know what? Let's learn how to play this one. Level him up and see what we can make happen. Oh, I hadn't even locked on yet. Big slack. Oh, come on. You're going to cancel me like that? I just think that the action is so satisfying, regardless if you're doing melee or range or whatever you choose. I find the combat to be brutally satisfying. And that's the reason why I keep playing. The gameplay just flows so nicely. And as you guys will see, the 
all the different progression systems that we get just make this so enjoyable. Especially if you have friends that you can play with. They just enhance the experience so much. I'm gonna go another link attack here. Now usually I can do this way faster if you do it in multiplayer. Uh, we don't have our... And we were slacking. We don't even have our... Um, our SBA to cancel this overdrive a little bit. to get her buff ready. Ah, uh, she used it again? Well, the hell with it. We're just gonna do a, a three burst. I still need to adjust Charlotta a little bit. She's way too low level. Because my objective is to use Charlotta as like an engine to feed everybody else's SBA. But that strategy hasn't really uh, paid dividends just yet. And I don't know if it ever will, to be honest. But I still like it. Even if you only get three bursts, it's so good to like... Bust them up from um, from overdrive. Okay, we broke the head. This is one of the things that I really wish that they would um, improve on. I want to chop tails. You can't chop tails in this game, and I wish you could. But it's like, I really hope the game is successful. And I saw that the other day there was like 100,000 people concurrent on Steam. And keep in mind that there's probably a lot more people playing on PlayStation, because this game had... PlayStation Early Access. So, I'm hoping the game is successful because I really want to see them follow through with more content because I'm just enjoying the game so much. And I can't recommend it enough at this point. Now that I've seen way more content and all that, even if the beginning of it is easy, and you can see that this particular fight is not too challenging. Now, the first time that you get here, it's going to be a little bit more challenging, but it's not really going to challenge you to the point of what I'm going to show you afterwards, because I want to show you guys a quest that is actually going to, uh, you know, it's actually going to showcase what a hard fight can kind of be, and it's not even the, the last fight. Okay, so we got another uh, overdrive phase. If you perfect dodge, you'll get, like, convincibility frames, and you this, you get screwed. See, like I said, I'm not that great, guys. That's the thing. At this point, I should have been punished a little bit harsher. But, you know, it is what it is. I love the soundtrack. I can't believe that the other day I saw a comment on my channel of somebody saying, Ooh, the soundtrack of this game is bad. I was like, bro, I considered hiding that person from the I was like, bro, what the hell? What do you mean the soundtrack is lacking? Get the hell out of here. Soundtrack in this game is so amazing. Are we gonna get a full burst this time? Yeah. I'm not paying that much attention because I'm just commenting over the photo drag. Alright, charge up. Bust up his face. I should be able to get away with this one right now. Nice. And it's time for you to go. Ooh! Parry! Get parried, son! Sir Percy doesn't mess around! See ya, kid! So as you can see, this is one of the first encounters of the Proud difficulty after you, you get the, the first high rank quest. Which was, a, like I said, a, a tiny little wall, like a chest high wall for us. Uh, which was cool. And this is when we really started having fun. The part that kind of sucks, right? And this is one of the reasons why I criticize the difficulty, is that you start having fun, you know, if you have a group of friends that are decent at video games and all of that stuff, and if you're playing kind of like the same way that I've been playing the game, right, with a group of friends, you're really only going to start having fun and being challenged when you get to the proud difficulty. And what is the problem with that? The problem with that is that proud difficulty, as far as I'm aware, has like 20 quests. 
and not even all of them are going to be that challenging. That's the thing. I just wanted to experience the, the level of difficulty that I experienced on, on this a little bit earlier. So like I said, I showed you guys one of the fights. This one's kind of like an easy fight, not really too challenging, whatever. But like I said, it is important because you get the, the tickets. You get like 50 tickets, which is really good to do a little bit of Gamba and stuff. Uh, like to give you guys an idea. If you come over here to Sierra Carte, right? Once you unlock the proud difficulty is when things get really wild. So number one, if you have uh, awakened weapons, which I do, like for instance, for this dude, it would be the Lord of Flames. You're going to be able to get into another progression system that allows you to power up your ascension weapon which by the time you are done with this, I believe that this weapon will become the most powerful weapon of all. But before you are done with this, your weak your weakness damage weapon is actually going to be the strongest. To give you an idea, if we look into the weapons that I have on my boy Percival here, uh, the awakening weapon is this one, the Lord of Flames. This would reduce my attack by so much. It would be absolutely, like you lose about a thousand attack points if you swap between these because the other weapon just has so much more attack. So the executioner weapon early on is actually one of the better ones, in my opinion, if you can actually aim for weak points or the back of the boss or whatever. And it's pretty brutal. But anyway, as I was saying, once you once you get to this, you unlock your weapon awakening once you, un once you get the proud difficulty, which again, another progression system, which is pretty cool. You also, unlock a new system with the transmute sigils which is whenever you get these knickknack vouchers and you can get these by just going up to the treasure trade and trading anything that you uh well not treasure trade going up the knickknack vouchers and choosing maybe materials that you don't need and you can exchange these like say i don't need these legendary merits i'd be able to exchange these and get some vouchers now i do want these so i'm not going to mess with this too much but you can exchange these for vouchers, and then once you get enough knick-knack vouchers, you can also exchange other things like sigils that you don't need, or right stones that you don't need. But once you get a uh, decent chunk of knick-knack vouchers, you can go to transmute sigils, and you can go level 3 transmutation, and you just do this for a little bit. It's a little bit annoying, but just bear with me, because I'm going to show you something. There. Once you do enough of this, which we have done enough, you're going to unlock this thing. Just trans marvel and here is where the really good stuff comes out and here you get five plus sigils you get like special sigils that can have special skills for each of the characters but but and this part's gonna suck it's rng so you're gonna be spending a lot of time getting those tickets transmuting the stuff and then using trans marvel to get the really good stuff and I didn't even get anything that's any good. I'm going to just destroy this later. But, you know, usually in here you can get some really good stuff. So this is one of the progression systems. The other progression system that you also have in the game that you're going to engage with is you're going to have to upgrade all of your weapons. So if you guys go here to... Oh, this is Forge. If you go to Percival, I'm supposed to be upgrading all of these weapons to 150. I'm still missing two of them. And this is going to require a lot of Fortitude Crystals. So let me tell you, there's going to be another quest you're going to be doing. For those of you that are curious about uh, about how to get these crystals, there's a quest that you can do here. It gives you a ton of them. Super fast, super easy. You can almost AFK through it. You just go in here, go by type, go through Conquest, go to the bottom. Great Goblins of Fire. Now, I'm not going to be doing this quest. It takes about three minutes, give or take. But you do this quest and you get a bunch of, um, you know, those stones to upgrade the weapon. But this is to kind of show you, like, the flow that you go through the game. You also get those crystals just by doing regular quests. Have a nice day. But in case you guys are wondering, you know, Ruri, why is your party not more leveled up? It's because I don't have those crystals. They're really stingy with those crystals, okay? Listen, listen, Psy Games, we need a crystal farming quest, okay? I want to be able to get a hundred of those guys, okay? A hundred! Of the large ones, the big ones, okay? That's what I want. I want a farming quest where I can butcher something and it just explodes in a bukkake of crystals, okay? That's what I need. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I wanted to show you guys what one of the walls, uh, an another one of the walls that was for us, one even harder than the one that, uh, that got us here. Because like I said, at this point in Proud, there are quite a few quests that are very satisfying. So let's look at... Where was it? I want to fight the black dragon. The evil black worm. 
So we have an S plus on it. We uh, cleared it yesterday on stream, actually. If you were on stream, you saw us got the first clear, which was pretty exciting to actually get this. I can't beat this quest yet solo because, like I said, my NPCs, they're not up to snuff yet. They don't have good weapons. I need a quest that gives me a million crystals so that I can level up all of these weapons and get my NPCs up to, up to snuff. But until then, I can't do it. But I still want to show you guys what that looks like, right? So that you guys can see that there is challenge in the game. I don't want people sleeping on this game just because I said I was, it was too easy. And I don't want people to be upset at me because I said it was too easy, okay? So you even get the satisfaction of watching me get my, get my ass kicked by this big black dragon, right? Again, the music's so good. I love it. Okay, so the first thing he's going to do is a big... That... We're gonna dodge that, no problem. Let we already have an NPC dead. Before. See, this is why I can't solo this. And probably another one's gonna die trying to res her, maybe. I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna go ahead and attack this thing. The reason you do that is because these things allow you to pick these up, throw them at the dragon. Oops. And once you throw it at him, he's gonna become slow. Oh, did he resist the slow? I didn't even know he could do that. That's illegal, sir. Stop it. He resisted it again! Oi! Stop that! Gotta be careful with the AOE on that breath, by the way. It's like a friggin' truck. Like attack, boom. You guys are like, we're calm. this doesn't seem that hard. Just wait. Just wait, just give it time. Let, let my man cook. He resisted it again. He's resisted every single one of the throws. Not even letting me show the mechanics of the fight, you bastard! God, I love playing Percival, though. It's so much fun. Percival and Oigen, hands down, my two favorite characters. Ooh, that was not smart. I was so lucky I got an even see Perry there on his breath. Oof, like, see the damage that he just dealt right there? Bro, stop. Just hit this thing, please. Okay. Oh, hit the dragon. Still resisted, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and buff up. Like, look at how much damage we've done so far. Almost nothing. See, this, this one, you actually need your NPCs to be properly min-maxed and stuff. Oof! Another link attack. Bro, imagine if I actually killed it on the recording. That's not gonna happen 100%. Let me just assure you. My Charlotte's weapon like absolutely sucks. Whoop! Bonk. He hit me with a goop. Let's take that away. By the way, if it seems like I'm not used to the lock-on, it's because I'm not. I was playing Warrior most of the time. Uh, oh, damn it. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the boss. We got water revive. Okay, the boss is about to go into overdrive. We do have 100%. So my strategy here is I let him go into overdrive. And even though my... Skybound Art is going to deal less damage. It's also going to diminish the amount of time that he stays in overdrive. So first, I want to break him into Link. Oh, nice! Good job. That was the next step. So let's go ahead, chain into it. Good job, Jita. Now, once again, look at the health of the boss. We're still at 82%. See, and this is going to reduce the amount of time that he's in overdrive, which is going to allow us to basically survive better. Okay, let's go ahead. Ooh, 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 get away. Okay. 
Oh wait. Here it comes. The thing about this one is that it accelerates at the end. Which makes it a little bit tricky sometimes. And you can't be too close, because if you're too close, then you're going to get pulled in at the end there. Oh, I forgot it. There's a last one. RIP! Forgot about the last one. Let me repay you like that. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get that link attack. Ooh, you bastard. I'm gonna get that link attack, brother. Woo! The clutch! And again! Let loose the fires of war. Listen, brother, I'm buffing up. And that link attack is coming for you. You understand me? Whoops, move away. There's the beefy one. There it is. I want this one. Give me that one. Oh, come on. That was dirty. That was dirty. Cheating. Because that one's gonna explode now, and it's gonna be a nuisance. Oof. Come on, are we? See, that's how this goes. We're at seventy-two percent. We're not even that much. If we can slow him down again. Really? <laughs> there it is. There's the link attack. I'm gonna wait for the next. I'm actually surprised I survived this one. That was a little bit early. That's fine though. We can work with that. This is my Your fate is sealed. Poison, Jesus, why is he in the poop? Oh, no. I'll just throw all these at him. No, they disappeared. I just think the combat is so cool and satisfying in this game. No. One of the big problems still, though, does have to be the camera. Nope. 
Come on, cancel that. No. Beautiful. This battle is mine. Keep pressing R2 to throw. No! We're actually halfway through the critical? Crap! I might actually be able to kill him! There's actually a chance! I didn't plan for this for the Vita at all. I thought I was gonna be dead by now. This one. Okay, I can break him now. I can break him. Watch, 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 watch. Oh, no, or he can break me. Yeah, that works too. No, no, no. Ooh, so close. Break! Break, you bastard! Oh my god, don't fly now. I'm risking so much. I can't believe it. Alright, that's good. Let's just do our specials. Oh, Charlotta's probably gonna miss out if I do it now. But I better do it now. Because he was gonna run away and then he might do like a special. And this way we get a little bit of a delay. Charlotta's gonna miss it. That's fine. It was pretty close to getting it, though. Oof. Okay, we have this special thing. <laughs> I always forget the last one, dude. It's the worst. We were at 30%, come on! Clutch! I will be your guiding light. You will burn! Don't your shield! Into the fray! Loud and clear! Very well. I missed the explosions there. No criticals getting higher. Let me repay you. I was expecting the full swipe. Hang in there. Can you stand? My flames are not snuffed. Oh, he's invincible now. Rip. No, not like this. Cool. Oh, 
the river from red! Well done. Get it! You will burn! Oh crap, yeah, we're gonna fail. This is the damage check. My my NPCs don't have enough damage, I don't think. Oh Link Attack though! kidding that's the first time i soloed the black dragon <laughs> i did not expect that i thought i was gonna die i mean you saw me die a million times like the other thing is i haven't really done this fight as a melee almost at all actually this is the first time i've done this fight as a melee yeah because um every single other time that i've came to this fight i actually came in here with uh Oigen and my friends but as you can see you can do it solo because again like i said if i can do it anybody can do it and again i did it with a party that is not optimized at all like this party is still not optimized not even close to being optimized i have so much work to do on these characters so the fact that i was able to do it shows you that anybody can do it now the grade is terrible terrible grade. agreed if i optimize this party though i can get this down way way better but that's the thing see this fight way more satisfying and that's kind of like the feedback that I was trying to give you guys last time, which is I wish this started closer to extreme so that we could have this level of progression throughout Maniac and Proud. And I feel like that would have been much more enjoyable for everyone. But again, I could be wrong. And again, I understand if you think you want it to be easier, that's fine. That's your prerogative. But I do want people in my audience to know what's what. Either way, now that I've experienced a whole lot more of the end game. It, it is a lot easier to recommend the game. There is still that whole thing about, oh, you know, uh, you're going to have a relatively easier time before you get the proud. But even then, I still think this game is most definitely worth it. And I definitely want to support the developers. Because, I mean, this is like $60 a game. You're going to be able to get easy, like, 100 hours at least. I'm, I'm expecting uh, yeah. with progression if you want to play different characters. Maybe if you only play one character and you do multiplayer might be a little bit less than 100 hours but for the amount of time you're going to be getting for this game i think the price is worth it and i think the game is a ton of fun and i enjoy it a lot basically that's all i wanted to say don't sleep on grand blue fantasy relink it's a really fun game having a blast and uh thank you guys for watching if you did watch all the way because i did not plan the video to be this long i was expecting to do about 30 seconds of the black dragon but i saw the opportunity and i took the chance anyway Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong, stay safe. Peace out.